Hello, and welcome back to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today, we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com. The topic is electric circuits, and the title is electric power. So what is power? Well, if you have covered this already in your physics class, great. If not, let me just give you a quick review. Power is capital P. And we you probably learned earlier in the year that it was the amount of work done divided by the time. In other words, how much work do you do every second? Okay, it lets you know the rate at which some, something is capable of doing work. Now, work, of course, is the transfer of energy. And here in this unit, it's going to be easier to think of power is the transfer of energy. So power is how much energy gets transferred each second. So for example, as electrons roll through a light bulb and they go from one voltage to another and they lose energy, well, how much energy do they lose each second? How much energy does the light bulb give off each second? So as the light bulb is giving off energy, that's going to be measured in watts. And that's why you buy light bulbs based on their wattage. How much energy are they giving out? The uh, equation for this unit is P equals IV. So the current in a circuit times the voltage of that circuit will tell you how much energy that circuit is releasing each second, how much energy it's taking out of the battery each second, and how much energy it's turning into something else in the circuit each, sec each second. Okay? So in this particular concept builder, you have sample problems that look something like this. The current in uh, circuit A is one half the current in circuit B. The battery in circuit A is two times the voltage of the battery in circuit B. Now for this one, I would say everything you need to know is in the picture. So I'm not gonna read these in the next two sample problems, okay? We can see that the current is still I. Here, the voltage is two, and then it's gonna be back to one here, and the current went from one to two. So let's take a look at our equation, okay? P equals I V. So here's how I'm going to recommend doing this. This has still has I, so just imagine this is like our base, and now we have the same current, so we're going to just going to write that as the power is one. <laughs> it's the same, it's one, we multiply by one. Uh, times, and then the voltage, since it's t twice the voltage, we'll do that times two. Okay, so the power is now, maybe I should make that not an equal sign because the power isn't two, it's just two times greater than IV. Okay, one times two. And over here, we have the power equals I times V, but in this case, we have uh, double the current, but we have the same voltage. So the power is two. Well, two and two, you're going to click both the same. Uh, when you get to the wizard level, it also asks you by what factor is it bigger? And if you've gone through this process for each of the two circuits, then you can just look at these two numbers and say, what did I have to multiply the smaller one by to get the bigger one? In this case, it's one. There is, aren't any examples like that in the final one. But on my next two sample problems, we'll have different, uh, different powers. And so we'll have a factor, and I'll show you how to do that. But before we can get to that, not all of the circuits compare the voltage and the current. Sometimes they compare the resistance. So let's look at what happens when we fold Ohm's law into our power equation. So here's our power equation for circuits, okay? And if we replace V with IR, we get I times IR, that's I squared R. And if we replace I with V over R, since I equals V over R, we put V over R there, we get V squared over R, V squared over R. So when you're looking at the problems, like the last problem, we didn't see any change in the, in the resistance. Therefore, we looked at this equation to see how the power would be affected. So if you find a problem where V is not mentioned, it's being held constant, 
then you'd use this equation to look at how the uh, current and resistance together affected the power. And finally, if I is being held constant, if the current is not mentioned, then you would use this equation to see how V and R are affecting the power. Let's go ahead and do that. So here in this equation, we can see we've got I and R. So we remind ourselves, flip back to the last slide if you need to, but P equals I squared R. Okay, and we'll write it on both sides since we're going to use the equation for both sides. We see that in the first one here, I stayed the same, so that's 1 squared, and then R doubled, so that's 2. So uh, 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. On the other side over here, we see P, and we have the I doubled, so the current doubled, so we're going to have twice as big an I, and that gets squared. R is just R, so that's times 1. So here we have 2 squared times 1. So P equals 4 times 1, or 4. So in this case, 4 is bigger than 2, so circuit B will have the bigger power. And if we compare the amount of power, this one has twice uh, just regular I and R. This one has four times regular I and R. To get from two to four, you would multiply by two. So this one is bigger by a factor of two. Okay, four is a factor two bigger than two. All right, let's go on to our last sample problem. So uh, here we see that we've got voltage and resistance being compared. So that means we'd be using the equation P equals V squared over R. We'll write that on both sides. That's a capital V, by the way. Um, lowercase v, of course, is velocity. Okay, so capital V, make sure that's clear. Um, the uh, This first equation, power equals, we see that the voltage is two times as big, so we put a two squared in the numerator because the voltage gets squared, and this one's twice as big as our normal. This one's the same size as our normal, so we're going to divide by one. On the other side here, we see that P, oh, let's finish that off. So the power is going to be 2 squared divided by 1. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4. So that's going to be 4 times bigger than your normal circuit, uh, your just V and R circuit. Okay, so here we have V. So that's just the same as V. V is V. Um, so that's 1 squared divided by, and this is twice as big, so 2. So here the power is 1 half the normal power of a circuit. Uh, of a sort of, of just a VR circuit. When you double the resistance, there's less power because they'll end up being less current. But anyways, that's the reason. Uh, here's the, the formula and the way to do it. So we can see four is bigger than one half. So we would mark circuit A as being bigger. And if we compare these, we take the smaller one, one half. How much bigger is four than one half? What do we have to multiply this by to get to four? Well, eight halves is going to give you four, so this one's bigger by a factor of, i got to stop trying to write words like this, factor of eight, all right, because it, it four is, whoops, can I undo that, and look at that, uh, four is eight times bigger than one half. All right, so just as a reminder, we have three equations here, down here at the bottom, uh, if R is the thing that's not being mentioned, then use this equation to figure out uh, the relationship of the, that affect the power. Uh, if V is being held constant, then use this equation. If I is being held constant, use that equation. I enjoy figuring out which of these light bulbs will shine brightest. I'm sure in the end, you will shine brightest. Way to go. Click that subscribe button and that like button, and I'll see you next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man.